Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the most innovative and useful open source tools that I found in 2023. These are the tools that I use every day to create amazing apps, automate tests, run machine learning models and more. And the best part is, they're all self-hosted, which means you have full control over your data and privacy. Let's check them out. The first project I want to share with you is Hanko. Hanko is a passwordless authentication platform that you can self-host. It lets you integrate both social and passwordless login into any web application with just a few lines of code. You can use pass keys, pass codes, security keys, mobile app biometrics, and even classic OAuth. As you can see, it uh, supports a bunch of OAuth providers. I love the fact that it provides customizable UI components that you can change the design of to match your current website. And these UI components can integrate with the most popular UI frameworks. This way you can get started very quickly and have an authentication system in no time. Passwords are outdated, insecure and inconvenient. And I believe passwordless is the way of the future. Currently in my development platform I have an authentication system based on Keycloak, which is an amazing tool, don't get me wrong. It's the enterprise tool if you will, but sometimes I just want to reach out for something more lightweight something simple to integrate into my projects, and Hanko fits that description perfectly. Expect some videos about how I run it in Kubernetes and how to integrate it with a Vue.js application. The next project I want to share is Directus. It is a low-code GraphQL or REST backend generator. The main idea is that it allows you to create and manage your data model with an intuitive no-code interface. And after you have the data model set up, it provides you a fully featured API that you can connect to any front-end framework you like. The dashboard itself is built with Vue.js and can use a bunch of SQL databases, including Postgres and SQLite. And this combination of technologies is actually my favorite stack at the moment. I think Directus is a great solution for anyone who wants to build data-rich apps with a flexible and scalable backend. One of the most popular use cases for something like this is a headless CMS. I used it as a CMS for some of my projects, but also as a backend for a simple e-commerce web store. But you can build almost any type of backend with this low-code platform. Next up is NA10. I think it's pronounced Nathan, a self-hosted automation platform with a huge number of integrations. Nathan lets you create workflows and automate tasks using a visual interface and connect different apps and services together. It's like your self-hosted better version of if this then that. You can use JavaScript and its intuitive UI to build a complex automations with any app and data source. It persists the automations you create in a Postgres or SQLite database. Love to see that. You know if I can pick Postgres for something, I will. The amount of integrations this platform supports is astonishing. Just look at this list. It's like basically any service you can ever imagine, well, it's probably on this list. Actually, let me just show you a quick demo. This is the Nathan dashboard. Let me create a new workflow. As the trigger for my new workflow, I will use Notion, let's say, Updating a page in a database. Obviously, you'd have to configure all this stuff, but for now, I won't. Based on this trigger, let's say I want to create a post on LinkedIn and also create a post on Reddit. Now I have an automation workflow that triggers social media posts. As you can see, these tools applications are vast. At some point, I integrated a financial API with the Google Sheets to create a financial tracking spreadsheet, all with this platform. And the best of all, you can self-host this. No annoying charges by number of executions or arbitrary limits or any of that nonsense. The next project I want to share with you is Postgres ML, a tool that lets you run machine learning models directly in Postgres. Postgres ML is a complete MLOps platform in a Postgres extension. It supports different algorithms for text classification, generation, summarization, and it also integrates with Hugging Face and similar platforms. You can fine tune large language model with your own data without it ever leaving your Postgres database, which is awesome. 
If you want to check out the demo of PostgreSQL, I've already made a video about it. Check the link in the video description. I think PostgreSQL is a great solution for anyone who wants to combine the power of machine learning and PostgreSQL. Next up is a similar project. It's called SuperDuperDB. It's a new project that aims to make machine learning easy and accessible for anyone who uses a database. It's quite similar to PostgreSQL, at least their goals are. It allows you to create, train and deploy machine learning models directly in your existing database. I'm curious how it compares to PostgreSQL and I will definitely make a video about it soon. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. And last but not least, I want to talk about Hugging Face, which is a platform where the machine learning community collaborates on models, datasets, and applications. You can browse through hundreds upon hundreds of models, and you will surely find something that suits your use case. So you can find pre-trained machine learning models for a variety of applications, such as text generation, text classification, translation, summarization, and more. I'm a big fan of this platform and I love the fact that it exists. Hugging Face is free and transparent, which means anyone can access, use and contribute to its models and datasets. It also means that anyone can learn from its code documentation and from the community. Hugging Face is a shining example of how open source can make a positive impact in the world. And on that positive note, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and maybe even discover something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know in the comments which open source project was your favorite and why. Or maybe you've discovered different tools and projects that you would like to share. I would love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.